U.S. Army generals say they expect mass adoption of robot soldiers between 2030 and 2040. And despite the fact that the public, majority at least, is strongly opposed, the military's opinion is this. If we don't do it, other countries will. So the future of using armed robots of all shapes and sizes in U.S. military is not an after-school special. Already now, the amazing technologies of the future are being tested, causing both admiration and concern. First up, Lockheed Martin. They unveiled the revolutionary Onyx exoskeleton, designed for the lower body and equipped with miniaturized servos, sensors, and artificial intelligence technology, not only increases strength and endurance, but also greatly reduces the risk of injury. The Onyx control system learns and then adapts to the fighter's movements by detecting the type of terrain and amount of workload. The device is deactivated when traveling lightly, but activated when climbing or descending a mountain, for example. Weighing only 14 pounds or 6.5 kilos, and with 16 hours of battery life, the Onyx becomes a real lifesaver for soldiers who often carry 100 pounds, 45 kilos, or more on their back. Word on the street, Onyx has already been tried out in the field and has been given the green light. It won't be cheap, probably in excess of tens of thousands of dollars, but when it comes down to military spending, who's counting, right? It's education and health we should be nickel and diamond about. That's where we need prudence. And let me riddle you this. What's the most dangerous job in the military conflict? Obviously, no job is easy, but being a stormtrooper, when you know for sure that the plot right over there is full of IEDs, definitely one of the most terrible things to do. And it's the kind of job that robots are best suited for. That's why the U.S. Army is paying for CyberNet, not to confuse with Cyberdyne, to develop the perfect assault robot. Right now, a robotic system is being mounted on two types of assault breacher armored vehicle. One goes in front in charge of demining, and the other goes behind it to fill in anti-tank trenches, opening the way for the main units to roll out. Both robots are controlled from a single command post. But in the near future, the vehicles will be replaced by a full 10-ton TRX breacher track robot from General Dynamics Land Systems. And when this robotic destroyer marches on in a war zone, no one's going to be able to stop it. Recent real-world conflicts show that the battlefield today is two sides separated by the signal of an FPV drone, peppered by artillery fire here and there. Swarms of drones is a nightmare, and no one has the answer on how to combat them today. However, Northrop Grumman hopes to break down this wall and is developing a high-speed artillery system with smart munitions. They are capable of targeting themselves and massively destroying a variety of drones, and for a ridiculous price compared to the cost of a single shot of a missile defense system, which comes down to millions of dollars. The new system, called CBAD, consists of long-range missiles to eliminate supersonic and hypersonic threats, long-range large-caliber guns, medium-caliber medium-range guns, and short-range small-caliber guns. These are layered defenses with a different type of projectile for each threat and they're fired at machine gun speed. The kicker? The ammo is auto-targeted. Each round finds its target, heads towards it, and explodes on impact, hitting it with shrapnel. It's effective and cheap. According to experts, nearly 100% cheaper than a standard air defense round. And there can be 200 to 400 charges in a battery instead of two to six missiles in an air defense system. But you know what's really surprising? The fact that it's not even the killer smart U.S. weapon system. Ghost Robotics Vision 60. That's where the magic happens. Real dogs of war here. These robots are designed with one purpose and one purpose only, to engage in armed conflict. They're already scouring tunnels, patrolling U.S. military bases, and serve as a platform for weapons experiments. For example, Tests are now being conducted with the use of robot dogs in counter-defense. For this purpose, the Vision 60 has been equipped with a special carbine for hunting drones, a guidance system with infrared and thermal imaging modes, and a laser designator. The entire robotic system is controlled via tablets just like a drone would. Now the $165,000 Vision 60 is equipped with multiple cameras and microphones capable of getting up on its own after falls and collecting sensor information for targets, including target designation for other weapon systems. Robotic dogs are now becoming an increasingly affordable and 
widespread technology, but in our opinion, they're unlikely to be particularly widespread. It's reasonable to use them only where a wheeled or a caterpillar robot cannot pass. There are dozens of such platforms today, and it's not easy for robot dogs to compete with them. Ripsaw M5 and Stryker X are certainly not competitors to robot dogs. They are much bigger and stronger platforms. Ripsaw M5 is a powerful advanced autonomous robot for convoy, reconnaissance, deterrence, and bomb disposal. 360 cameras, speed, maneuverability, stealth, and a little friend in the form of a drone. On board of this vehicle make it attractive for a variety of missions, including U.S. Army's robotic combat vehicle medium program. The Stryker X robot, on the other hand, can fire laser weapons, launch drone attacks, and engage in electronic warfare. It has a hybrid electric motor for quieter operations, so the vehicle can conduct reconnaissance missions. It also has an autonomous 30mm cannon for long-range target practice. The robot's capabilities are constantly expanding, but it's still not as cool and necessary for the Army as this next bad boy. Upscale tech is needed not only on the ground, but also in the sky. Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II, for example, is the most expensive military fighter jet in history. $109 million with an annual upkeep of $6.6 .6 million. The real breakthrough, though, is not in the jet itself, although that is a work of art on its own. But the real gem is in the Gen 3 HMDS helmet developed by Collins Airspace. This $400,000 helmet provides pilots with a unique 360 view of the entire F-35. This is possible because in addition to stealth technology and vertical takeoff, the F-35 is equipped with six body-mounted cameras that transmit images to the helmet visor. This is especially important when the fighter jet is hovering in place, for example. In addition, the Gen 3 HMDS displays flight information, gives you night vision around and through the aircraft, and allows you to operate weapons and track targets just by looking at them. Meanwhile, each helmet is customized to the pilot using 3D scans of their head. And if you suddenly change your hairstyle or suddenly get addicted to Cinnabons, the helmet, which costs as much as an apartment in Miami Beach, will have to be redesigned. Is that in line with the Agile framework, or is that Scrum? I could never tell. Textron Systems has unveiled SeaCat, a revolutionary warship that runs on water at incredible speeds. On top of this wizardry, it can carry a boatload of cargo over huge distances. At the same time, it doesn't need a dock, a crane, or even water for that matter to land and unload. The SeaCat operates on the same principle as heavy lift screen gliders, which fly low, gaining additional lift and efficiency by keeping a cushion of air between the wings and the surface of the water. This landing craft can reach speeds of almost 60 miles or 100 kilometers per hour, practically hovering above water. SeaCat can be fully or partially autonomous, carry people, and travel distances of up to 1,000 miles or several thousand kilometers. And its payload capacity is 600 tons, which for comparison is 10 of the most pimped out M1 Abrams tanks with full armament. SeaCat is lean, maneuverable, and can land anywhere, so the Marines don't even have to get their feet wet. In addition, this marvel of engineering is resistant to level 4 storms. It's an all-in-one type of thing. And I know I've already said this, but this next one is out of this world. This silent modular drone can independently find an object, figure out what it is, and track it by intelligently navigating the terrain and airspace. Moreover, while most military drones require several people and a decent amount of time to deploy, the Ghost X can be sent on a mission in just a couple of minutes. The drone from Anduril has computer vision, onboard computing systems, a range of 15 miles or 25 kilometers, and a flight time of up to 75 minutes. It weighs only 55 pounds or 25 kilos and can carry 20 pounds or 9 kilos. This is enough both to equip it with light weapons and, for example, to deliver first aid kits. Ghost X is first and foremost a smart and cautious reconnaissance drone. The drone can fly and perform missions in bad weather, becoming the eyes of the infantry, ensuring their safety and allowing them to make important timely decisions. 
What's more, it can even dive up to three feet or a meter underwater. We can end here, really, but my producers wanted to rock your socks, so here goes. Context AI, that is a game changer. It's not a robot, it's artificial intelligence for C4ISR, the nervous system of modern military. The acronym C4ISR stands for Command, Control, Communications, Computerization, Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance, or simply eyes and ears. And artificial intelligence in this system is invaluable as it processes huge amounts of data and allows the military to make informed decisions at lightning speeds. Moreover, Context AI is capable of predicting certain events and offering options to influence them. Another goal of this technology is to ensure cybersecurity. Military people claim that the technology is immune to hallucinations inherent in all popular generative AI systems, such as ChatGPT. The model from ReSecurity Inc. is trained on 40 billion records from the dark web and different intelligence sources. This allows it to pinpoint threats, identify misinformation campaigns, and suggest how to deal with them. Context AI is already in use in eight nations around the world, but this system unfortunately still can't tell us where $2.3 trillion went the night before the Twin Towers in Building 7 came down. Another gem we got for you, the US Army has tested Roman, a tracked robot with two arms designed to clear debris, deliver dangerous goods, and perform many other tasks. Soldiers can simply tell the robot to clear the road or open a bag, and the robot will decide how best to carry out these orders. Moreover, the robot is able to analyze unknown objects and choose the best way to deal with them. Roman is smart, strong, and can pass through any terrain. It's slow but they're working on it. Who, you ask? Why, DARPA, of course. Actually, NASA crafted an autonomous machine for moving over difficult terrain for DARPA recently. The Robo Simeon is inspired, as you might guess, by monkeys and is still being tested for use during natural disasters and other emergencies. To us, it seems that if this robot's going to be used in real life, it's more likely to be among civilians. That's where many of DARPA's contraptions end up anyway, like the internet, for example. If you want to hear more, click the cards. So the robot army is almost here. Land, sky, water, you name it. All that remains is the ability to learn how to coordinate the actions of all the robots among themselves with just a handful of, hopefully, human operators. At the same time, the decision to use robot weaponry against people should be made only by Humans or not? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and check out our Instagram for more from the world of high tech.